It's Jo from Angels and Ancestors and I've got to start with an apology because um, the lorry that hit the telegraph pole near my house has done untold damage and it's going to take some time to repair. So in the meantime, um, I am going to put an apology up with a full explanation. I'm going to have done with the daily readings for a while. But I am going to do um, the general weekly readings. But this particular time, I'm going to do it for 10 days instead of 7 days. So it would be the 21st of um, October to the 31st of October. And hopefully at some point, either today or tomorrow, we'll get your Salwain Halloween or Hallows reading up. We should have gone up um, way before this, but because of everything that's happened... Um, it's kind of put off so the um, weekly readings um, will stay the same general spiritual and the what the fuck reading um, I should be doing a first quarter as well we'll see how we get on with these and then I will probably do the first quarter as well hopefully I'll be able to get those uploaded for you at my son's house so we're going to ask the cards for the general reading for the 21st of October to twenty-first of October to 31st of October, please. I'm not going to take wads today um, just because I'm absolutely exhausted from everything that's going on. So can I have a foundation card, please? Okay. Oh, that's moved. So that's good. What's going into your past? There is two there. I'm going to take them. And can I have thoughts and feelings for the 21st of October for this general reading to the 31st of October, please? Thoughts and feelings for the collective for the general reading for the 21st and 31st of October, please. That's far too many. I'm going to take the top one. Okay. And can I have a future energy, please, for the 21st to 31st of October? Okay. Okay, so, to start with, we have the Three of Wands. Now, the Three of Wands, for me, is looking out across seas. This is all about partnerships. It's about um, new ways of being. It's about bringing goods in for a business it's about exporting goods um for a business you may be looking at expanding across water but it's also got you with your back to the country you're in um and looking out across these so you sh you sh could in actual fact be looking for opportunities across seas um I'm going to see what the rest of the cards say, but it does look like that you are looking for other opportunities. Now, your challenge card for this week is the Lord and Lady. Now, in other decks, this is the Lovers. Now, because it's a challenge card, this is partnerships in every shape and form. This is Lovers, this is um, business partnerships, this is partners in crime, it's partners... It could be mother and sons, father and daughters, father and sons, mothers and daughters, all sorts of partnerships. Um, but it's a challenge for you. And I'm kind of getting the feeling that where you're looking out across the horizon for other opportunities, there may be some difficulty 
in being able to sell this to a partner, whether it's a love interest or whether it is a partner as in a business partner. I kind of get the feeling that whoever this is for, that this is a lover's card, definitely, but it's also your business partner as well. So you've got two sides of the coin on the same on the two sides of the same what are you trying to say to me two sides of the same coin in the same relationship and that the, i'm getting that this relationship is loving caring and giving but you are a little bit concerned about this opportunity that you not only want to take but i think that you've actually been offered it's something new absolutely brand new that is either be coming to you or you're drawing it to you um now in your foundation you've got the nine of a thames which is at the top of your game but for some unknown reason you're kind of like a bit worried about it all you're kind of not seeing the illumination of the moon coming through that window so therefore you're not seeing the full truth some things are staying in shadow for you you need to drop that blanket and see um what is going on around you i kind of get the feeling that if this was any other nine that your foundation would be really strong and i am getting that your foundation is really strong but i don't think that in your foundation part of your reading that you are taking on board messages that are coming through loud and clear from somebody now the energy that's going out into your past is you've got the six of wands which is accolade it's triumphant it's being recognized for the work that you're doing and perhaps the work that you have been doing that you're now leaving behind in favor of finding something else something new something that is going to challenge you in more than one way it's going to challenge your entire life um and it's not to say that the accolade won't come back once you have started, once you've got your feet under the table. But I'm kind of getting that this is passing because of um, you wanting to move away and kind of like find this new you, this new way of being. So you've got the standing stone, which is a really spiritual card, but it also talks to us about balance. So I'm kind of getting that, spiritually speaking, I think you feel a little bit unbalanced, like you are going around. You look at the card closely, there is um, a labyrinth um, on the standing stone. I'm kind of getting the feeling that maybe you are a bit unbalanced when it comes to your spirituality, but you feel like you're going around in circles with it and you're in this labyrinth and you keep getting dead ends. And I kind of get the feeling that you want that to stop so you're reaching out for this new way of being. Now in your thoughts and feelings you've got the Queen of Wands. Now this a couple of weeks ago I got her and she was so stern in the reading. Um, she was almost like I told you so. Anyway in this reading she's coming across a lot softer. Although she stands in her power and she is a powerful lady. She could be male or female. Um, if it's a male, it's a softer side of the male, the divine ma uh, masculine. But the divine feminine in this lady is that I get the feeling that this is an older lady. She's in your thoughts and feelings at the moment. And she's got this wand and she's kind of saying, now come on, I've given you the skills. You really need to now start putting this into practice. I'm going to sit here and watch you while you get on with it. And this is the thought that you've got. So I don't know if this is a mother or a grandmother figure and they're kind of sitting on your shoulder at the moment going, come on, you know you can do this. You know you've got this. Whatever it is that you want to do, you can turn your hand to, just like mothers and grandmothers do tell you. But the Queen of Wands also tells you about the magic touch that you have within you. So as that's in your thoughts and feelings, I'm also getting that there is a move back to magic. There is a move back to spirituality that's going on in your head and you need to get that back into your main reading. Now, going into um, the 
the future and as you know sort of like these these I don't tell you how long these readings are going to last for I don't um I kind of get the feeling sometimes um of readings that will last x amount of time um and I know I do them weekly but I can't cover everybody in the same week and I'm kind of getting the feeling that this is going to be between three and six weeks long um just because everything breaks down apart from one card everything breaks down um to a three it does actually so we have the page of pentacles now the page of pentacles is messages coming through but it's a specific message it is a message of how you make your money it is a message of contracts it's a message of apprenticeships of learning a new skill quite skillfully and magically and it may be a skill that you've already got and you are just going to go forward with this brilliant craft that you have got going on in your life you've got the sunshine coming through the door all your tools are on the wall and you're adding adding that magic touch to whatever it is you've already created but i do feel that this message is coming through to you from across the seas so we're going to ask the angels and the ans not the angels it's just the archangels if they've got any advice from the 21st to the 31st of october I'm just going to check the camera, guys, because I've got an awful feeling. Oh, no, it is recording. I just had this awful feeling that maybe it wasn't. So you have the nine of Ariel. Didn't we have a nine just now? Yeah, you have. You've got another nine here. It says your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. I love for beautiful things in life. This is this one. So going along with your nine in your foundation, you really do need to see the beauty in things you really do need to see that you can do this your your foundation should be solid but you're just you're doubting yourself and you're doubting what it is that you're actually putting out there and you've got the queen of michael and she says you know exactly what to do benefit of experience a time of of for your career rather than relationships so there we have another queen and i'm kind of trying to work out what kind of queen she would be if she was a normal dog. i've never learned i always take these ones slightly differently to the others i can't see anything that kind of jumps out at me that it's either a pentacle or whatever but it's the queen of michael so lovelies you know if you've got two queens in your reading and they're both saying exactly the same thing, Queen wants to say, now come on, you've got these skills, you know you can do this, and the other one goes, you know exactly what to do, guess what, you know exactly what to do. So we are going to go to the Angels and Ancestors this time for some wisdom and knowledge for the 21st to the 31st of October. For this general reading whoever this is for this is a nice reading it really has turned out a nice reading so yeah whoever this is for you you've got it you've got you've got what it takes to do this okay so it's got the animal guardian trust your instincts that's what it's saying trust your instincts let's pop her back there and then you have the guardian angel and it tells you that you are not alone in this there are people in the spirit world walking alongside you definitely and with this partnership here you really need i think your challenge is, is that you need to fess up with your thoughts and feelings you need to be more open about what it is that you want um but I don't see that it's going to be disastrous. I think you're making it 
more complicated in your thoughts and feelings. I think that should be up there. But I kind of get the thing, thought that you feel that you are going to rock your foundations if you present this to your partner. And that is not the case at all. It is not the case. Okay. Now this is from Gaia and this is some gui guidance for you. And this is perception. And what was I just saying about perception about your relationship? Beyond the veil of illusion. Don't let illusionary things, your perception of something, cloud your judgment. You need to look at all aspects of an issue, especially this issue. And you need to open up and start discussing what it is that you want. You need to be honest. You need to have that honest um, conversation. Um, and you need to pave the way. But you are honestly feeling that this really could upset your partner and I just I just don't get that feeling I kind of get the feeling that they would be so supportive of this move so can I have some dreams from Gaia please for the 21st to the 31st of October thank you and we have the three of earth and the three of earth is all about sowing seeds it's about sowing seeds now for the future and if you look behind him the flowers that have come up they're the seeds he's already sown and that they are now in full bloom the little squirrel that's with him he's kind of like really excited because that's acorns for the future generations um yeah i mean i love this card but again it's telling you, you know what to do. You know how to sow this seed. You know how to nurture and love it and bring it into fruition. So don't ignore that because that is really, really special. I'm going to give you a Blessed Be card for the 21st to the 31st, I think, of October. And we have got a blessing for a friendship. Now, this could be in conjunction with this because this partner of yours, even if it's your lover, they're going to be your best friend. If it's your business partner, it's going to be your best friend. Um, so there is a blessing for a friendship there. Lovely, listen, it's been a lovely little reading. I know it's not as long as, as normal, but um, I want to try and get these up tomorrow if I can. Um, so listen... Take care, have a wonderful next 10 days and I promise you the moment the internet comes back on I will be coming back fully with um, dailies and all the rest of it. So I'll see you in the spiritual reading, bye for now.